Hey, hey, fourth grade. Welcome back. It is Thursday, art day, best day of the week. So good to see you. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. And it's Thursday, it's, it's like Friday junior, pretty much. Tomorrow's Friday, exciting. But I'm really glad you're here. We have a really fun project planned. This project's gonna take two weeks, okay? Because we gotta do the outlining and stuff today. And then next week we're going to color. I know some of you like to jump ahead and that's fine too, but I wanna make sure you have something to do next week. So try not to color, okay? No color. All right, um, before we get started, uh, I'd like to show you guys things that I have around the room or like random stuff that I've got. But I actually started making something that you guys are going to actually get to do, hopefully, fingers crossed, when we um, come back to school. And it's weaving. So I started a weaving project. Now this is a really big one. Um, but you guys will do like a smaller scale of this, but I thought it was cool to show you what I've been working on in between lessons and things like that. Um, pretty fun. Tried to do some that were like fall colors, but yeah, so here's my show and tell for today. Um, also I got pencil earrings. So fun. Um, but our lesson this week is really cool. We're talking about geometric shapes. Say it with me. Geometric shapes. Okay. We've known about geometric shapes. We've talked about them. There's geometric and organic. Organic is a made up shape, okay? We talked about that. We're not even looking at those today. We are talking about shapes that we learn about in school. Circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, those kind of shapes that have those sharp edges, okay, and points, all right? So a square has four points, okay? A rectangle has four points. I don't know the math terminology. I'm say it's not very good at math, but, um, Vertice, vertices, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me. All the teachers out there. So sorry. Um, but they have a straight edge. So this week you're going to need a ruler and a pencil and possibly an eraser if your pencil doesn't have an eraser. That's all you're going to need this week. We are creating geometric fall trees. Now I thought this lesson was cool because you kind of get to make it your own. Um, but I'll show you really quickly. Here's mine. All right, pretty simple, nothing crazy, but you are gonna need a ruler because look at all these sharp edges here, okay? Next week, we'll talk about the colors you need. We're not coloring it any color we want. We're sticking to fall colors, so we'll get there when we get there. But I added a kitty cat, a geometric kitty cat, and a geometric bird. So we'll talk about that in the video. I don't wanna talk too much because the video is kind of long this week due to the fact that we've gotta talk about our geometric shapes, how we create them, and all of that fun stuff. So have a great week, Lions. Oh, one more thing. If you have friends that are online that have not turned anything in for me, let them know it is a grade. Things are a grade. We are taking grades for you to complete and turn things in. All of us, Ms. Paramore, Coach Deb, Ms. Klein, not Ms. Klein, but Coach Deb and Ms. Paramore and myself. But Make sure you tell your friends, hey, you've got to get your artwork done because it is a grade at the end of the nine weeks. So that's enough talking for today. You're going to see my video next. We are talking about geometric shapes today, shape and line. We're talking about straight lines, talking about geometric shapes. I really don't think it's a pattern, but we can throw a pattern in there too. We'll talk more in just a minute, lines. Have a great West. I can't talk today. Have a great rest of your week. And um, I can't wait to see your outlines for this um, two-week project, okay? No coloring this week. Talk soon, lions. Adios. Bye. Hey, fourth grade. Welcome to the how-to video today. We are going to be doing our geometric fall trees like you, I showed you in the video. Now, today all we're focusing on is the drawing part and the outline part. The rest of it can be done um, next week when we add color. So we're really focusing on those geometric shapes, like I said, that have these straight lines and these points, okay? They meet up at a point. So that's what we're focusing on today. I'm gonna try to make this video not too long. So right now I'm gonna skip to the first part being done, all you need to do is draw a line at the bottom. A line at the bottom, okay? That's all. So I'm gonna stop and get that done and I'm gonna hop back on. Okay, I'm back. So I drew my straight line. You're really gonna wanna use your ruler for this whole project. 
um, so that we get crisp, clean lines. Now, if you don't have a ruler at home, you can use something with a straight edge. Surprisingly, I did this project at my house and I didn't have a ruler. You would think Miss A would have a ruler at her house because I'm an art teacher, but I didn't have one. So I used the side of a book that was really straight. So you could even use something like this. Like I have this little postcard thing that I used for another class. It's got a straight edge. I could use that to trace out lines, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna get going here um, or that we're gonna start to get going is the tree trunk. Now, let's talk about the tree trunk. We can see that it, it's kind of like a wannabe triangle. It's not a quite a triangle, but it wants to be. It's got a flat top up here, and I'm gonna show you how to draw this. It'll, it, I explained it kind of like a volcano to some of my other classes, but um, I thought it would be really, I'm gonna show you how to draw the trunk. We are going to start, I'm gonna say about the middle of my page, okay? Not quite the middle, but maybe just close to it. I'm gonna draw a line like that, okay? You can see that line. And I'm going to wanna to go from each end of the line down to create this kind of triangular shape, but I'm not gonna to go too wide because I don't want it to take away from the tree part, okay? Now, um, it looks almost like a volcano. I'm going to hold my ruler. Remember, you wanna hold your ruler all the way down with your hand so it doesn't move on you, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, but all right. There is my tree trunk. Now, if you need to pause right here and catch up to this point, please do so. But the next thing we're gonna be doing is adding the, the tree limbs. Now. The way we're gonna do this with our ruler is we are gonna draw one, two, three, four, five lines coming out of this tree trunk. Almost like if we were to draw sun rays like off of a sun in a sunset, but we're gonna need to make sure we do it in the order that I give you so that you have an evenly spaced tree, okay? So here we go. I'm going to start and I'm gonna find the middle of that line right there. You can see I drew a little bitty line. And I am going to draw a line up, okay? So again, if you need to stop here, please do. Um, but this almost looks like a volcano, like it's spewing lava straight up into the air. But we're gonna do the two outer pieces next so that we don't mess up here on the top pieces. Okay, now I'm going to go from each end of that line that we drew. And I don't wanna go too far up because then our tree's gonna look kind of funky. I wanna go kind of low, okay? There's one there. It's okay if they're a little uneven, I'm not worried about it. So we got to this point, okay? Again, if you need to catch up, stop here. Now we're gonna break these in half. I'm gonna go from like the corners and I'm going to kind of split these up. You can kind of try to half them as best as you can. Not all of mine go from the corners. So this is what we have right now. It kind of looks like a lighthouse. The lighthouse is up and the light's shining out, um, which that'd be pretty cool for another lesson, but right now we're gonna do a tree. Now, here comes the fun part using the ruler to create the geometric shapes. I didn't really do this in any order. I'm gonna show you how to do the bottom and the top is gonna to be just like the bottom. So I'm gonna stop there on this video so this video is not 18,000 million minutes long. Um, but here we go with the bottom. Now, I started to break up my sections into these little pieces. Now, I started like this. I went from the edge of my paper, drew a line down. And then I thought, could I break up this shape even more? Could I maybe draw a line down the middle of it? And I thought, mm, I probably could. I'm gonna break this shape up here, okay? And then I thought, all right, what am I gonna do next? So I don't want my lines to really match up I'm gonna start there. I don't want it to just go up from here where this line ended. I wanna make it a little uneven. 
So then I just start drawing lines where I want them. Maybe I draw another triangle here. You're gonna try to see how many different shapes you can get. Now the shapes don't have to necessarily be real shapes. I have no idea what this kind of shape would be called because it's got these like weird flat pieces, but they work. All right, geometric shapes, they've got flat edges. I'm gonna draw that there. I just kind of break up my pieces. You can start with drawing just basic shapes and start breaking them up. And again, it's up to you how you do this, okay? But you are going to do it all the way across and all the way at the top. We have one more thing to do as soon as I get done with the bottom. I'm gonna do a few more down here and I'm gonna skip to the next part, all right? Okay, so I did the bottom part. Now we need to do the two little spots on the bottom of the tree that go below these two lines. Now this part's super easy. All I'm going to do, and I did this at home, I just picked a spot on the tree and I drew myself like a little dot that I wanna line my ruler up to. So I'm kind of starting off the edge and we're gonna wanna make this kind of right triangle right here. I'm gonna go from that point down. All right. Then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna to wanna to do all of my geometric shapes, breaking up each big triangle here into a ton of little sections, just like down here, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna do is outline with black Sharpie or black marker or black crayon oil pastel colored pencil, whatever you have so that it stands out. And then next week, we're going to add our color and our little animals. We're gonna talk about that, okay? Do not color anything in just yet. You are simply outlining with black marker, crayon, colored pencil, anything you've got, all right? This lesson is super fun. I'm super excited just because it kind of looks like stained glass. If you've ever seen stained glass, how they put the pieces kind of together to create a bigger picture. And I thought this was fun. It's kind of relaxing to get to kind of draw all these little shapes and then go color them all in. So take your time, don't rush. I can't wait to see them. Make sure to upload to Schoology and I will be grading. So make sure you're checking your grades as well because I may not always comment on your stuff, but I do see it and I do give it a grade. So please check on that, upload a picture. You guys are great. Y'all been doing fantastic online. Fourth grade's rocking it, thumbs up to you. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Make sure you're using your art brain and keep creating lines.